welcome to this week's production tip. Now, this week we're going to be talking about how to frame effectively using negative space. What negative space refers to is the area around a person or object that your shot is focused on, and it can be used to give your shots different feels and effects. It can also be used to convey a lot more than what you see just in the frame. Consider this clip from the first Star Wars film. Luke is shown in the vast open desert of Tatooine, but in the close-ups he's seen looking into the empty negative space. Now this can represent the huge empty space that's around him in the desert, or it can represent the fact that he's looking into the future. When framing a person in conversation, you should have the negative space on the side that they are looking. This is also called the looking space. Now, what we're using here is a 50mm lens with a short depth of field, which means that everything behind me over here is kind of out of focus, which draws the viewer's eye to me. Sometimes it can be useful to have the negative space in the opposite way that the character's facing. This gives us the feeling that there's something behind that character, there's something that's about to sneak up on them, and it's most effectively used in horror movies. Another consideration we must take when we're talking about negative space is headroom. Too little headroom, and as you see, the shot's quite cramped, but too much headroom, as is happening now, and it, uh, it can end up looking, looking a little bit silly. To figure out how much headroom is the right amount of headroom, try looking at our Rule of Thirds video we did last week. Some filmmakers use negative space to give the feeling of isolation. The film Open Water uses negative space to both show how alone the characters are, and to give the feeling that a shark may come from any direction. That's it for this week's production tip. If you enjoyed it, then please like the video below, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and our newsletter. See you next week.